make a big impact by doing small things. Does your brain need a break? Here is what should we tell to ourselves. Take a brain break. It improves the quality of our work and it can be as short as 10 minutes the break. Study says that it reduces the mental fatigue and boosts output. So to all my listeners, no matter what you do, so make it a habit so that you can learn more. First things first. And today's topic is modular arithmetic from number theory and this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. So in this modular arithmetic, the first thing is you have to learn about the congruence. So when we say that A is congruent to P, see here, if A and B are integers and M is a positive integer, then A is said to be congruent to B modulo M if M divides A minus B. So if M divides A minus B or else A minus B is a multiple of M. See here, if M divides A minus B or A minus B is a multiple of M. So this is denoted as A congruent to B mod M. So this is the congruence symbol and M is called, so here M is called the modulus of the congruence and B is called the residue of A modulo M. And see here, if A is not congruent to B mod M, then it is denoted by A not congruent to B mod M. So this is the thing which you have to remember. A and B are two integers and M is also a positive integer. And A is said to be congruent to B if M divides A minus B. Clearly, if M divides A minus B. So for example, I'm showing. So 93 congruent to 13 modulo 5. So this is of the form A congruent to B mod M. B mod M. So here M should divide A minus B. So for telling A is congruent to B mod M, M should divide A minus B. So what is our M here? 5. So 5 divides, this is A is nothing but 93 minus 13. So M clearly divides 80. So therefore we say that A is congruent to this B mod. So, so this is B mod 5. Clear. And next one coming to this example. So if, if you compare this one with A congruent to this is B mod M. So M should divide A minus B. So M should divide. What is A here? 75. Minus of minus this is 5. And therefore, so in place of M we have 4 here. So 4 divides. This is a 75 plus 5 and 4 clearly divides 80. So clearly divides 80 and therefore we say that 75 is congruent to minus 5 modulo 4 clear if m divides a minus b then we say that a is congruent to b mod m so here in this case if you see so when you compare when you compare this so this is a is not congruent to this is b mod m so a is 200 b is 3 and m is equal to 5 so m shouldn't divide a minus b so what is m here 5 and what is A here? 200 minus 3. So this 5 doesn't divide 197. 197. Clearly when M doesn't divide A minus B, then we say that A is not congruent to B mod M. So here 200 is not congruent to this is 3 modulo 5. So this is so simple that if you go here, if A and B are two integers and M is a positive integer and A is said to be congruent to B, when we say that A is congruent to B mod M, if M divides A minus B or else A minus B is a multiple of M and this is denoted by A is congruent to B mod M and here M is called the modulus of the congress and B is called the residue of A mod M and here if A is not congruent to B modulo M then it is very clear that A is not congruent to B mod M. So this is about the congruence and there are few properties related to this congruence and here the basic property of the congruence I'm telling this is also most important thing. The congruence relation is an equivalence relation. So what is this equivalence relation? So equivalence relation means it should hold three properties. The first thing is reflexive, the next one is a symmetric and the next one is transitive. See here. The congruence relation is an equivalence relation. So for all integers A, B and C, the relation is congruence. 
see first one is the reflexive property reflexive property means so a should be equal to a if you see in a mirror you should be seen so a should be equal to a for symmetric property so here the condition is if a is equal to b then b should be equal to a see here if you take a is equal to b we need to show that b is equal to a that is the symmetric property so coming to the transitive so here if a is a friend of b and b is a friend of c and obviously so a and c so a is equal to c so a is equal to c it is a transitive property of friendship see here if a is equal to b and b is equal to c and a is equal to c is the transitive property see here coming to the congruence relations so a is equal to a so the symbol here is the congruence symbol a is congruent to a mod m see for the symmetric if a is equal to b then b is equal to a coming to the transitive property if a is equal to b and b is equal to c and obviously a is equal to c clear so this is the way we have to show all the three properties and therefore we ultimately say that the congruence relation is an equivalence relation so coming to the proof here first of all we have to show the reflexive property so reflexive so in order to show the reflexive property clearly everybody knows that a minus a is equal to zero and see here zero is divisible by so zero is divisible by m clearly zero is divisible by m so if you consider this as m so here m divides a minus a so a minus a is nothing but zero so here m divides zero and m divides a minus a so from this what we can write according to the congruence relation we can write that a is congruent to this is a mod m clearly i have told you the congruence relation definition that if m divides a minus a if m divides a minus b then we say that a is congruent to a so clear so the first reflexive property holds so this is nothing but if a is equal to a then we say that it is a reflexive property so reflexive property holds and next one coming to symmetric property see here coming to the symmetric property so if a is equal to if you consider a is congruent to b mod m so we need to show that b is congruent to a mod m so from the definition what it is m divides a minus b clearly m divides minus of see here if you take minus also minus of it is b minus a if you take minus common so this is b minus a clearly m divides b minus a so it can be written as b is congruent to a this is mod m according to the congruence definition see here if you say if m divides a minus b it clearly divides minus of b minus a and even it divides b minus a and therefore it can be written as b congruent to b congruent to a mod m so after taking a is equal to b we got b is equal to a and therefore symmetric property holds so this is a symmetric property so here the symmetric property holds and next thing here is a transitive property so how we transfer this one so according to the transitive property we have to take two things here according to the transitive property so we need to take if a is congruent to b mod m and second thing here is b is congruent to this is a c mod m clearly so we have to show a is congruent to c mod m so for that if a is congruent to b mod m what happens here m divides a minus b and here if b congruent to c mod m then m divides b minus c so here m divides 2 and m divides 4 it even divides 2 plus 4 that is 6 so even divides this addition that is b minus c m divides therefore m divides a minus b plus b minus c clearly we can cancel these two and we got m divides a minus c if m divides a minus c this can be written as a is congruent to this is a c modulo m 
So this is A congruent to this is a C modulo M. And therefore, if A is congruent to B mod M and B is congruent to C mod M, then A is congruent to this is a C modulo M. Therefore, this property is transitive property. This is a transitive property. So, this is number 3. So, I have shown you the reflexive property as 1 and the symmetric property as 2 and next one transitive property as 3. So, from 1, 2 and 3. From 1, 2 and 3. So, we see that the relation, the congruence relation is, we say that the congruence is an equivalence relation. So, when we say that it is an equivalence relation, when all the three properties, one is reflexive, symmetric and transitive properties holds, then we say that it is an equivalence relation and this is how the property of congruence works out and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end so if you really like this video please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel and i'll be posting many more important theorems in my next video have a look at those and until then stay connected thank you so much